join us in the song that many of you already know. Here I am, Lord.
celebration of Father Danny Pinto's 50th anniversary of his ordination to the priesthood. This Mass is being offered for Father Danny's parents, Santiago Pinto and Donna Eugene Amelda. Our celebrant is Father Danny. Con celebrating this Mass is Father Jacob Gall, Father Vasco Ferreira, Father Polycarp Fernando, and Father Daniel Chupaleta. Our Master of Ceremonies is Deacon Jim Fitzpatrick. <coughs> On this God Day Day, Rejoice Sunday. We pause to acknowledge that our Advent season of preparation is not one of gloom and dread, but rather of joyful expectation. Even as we patiently await the coming of the day of the Lord, signs abound that it is already here. As we celebrate together today, let us be alert for the traces of God's reign already here. Our opening song is Sing Out Earth and Skies, number 556 in the music issue. Please rise and join in the singing. Faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, 
Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Being patient with it 
until it receives both the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm, because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Clearly, when I walked down 
great fight of my companions and we walked into the cathedral, St. Lucia's, and the priest accompanied all of us. And I saw my parents and my relatives and everyone standing while I was coming into the sanctuary area. And they are seated with the crowd and the singing. I very clearly, we all remember the priest here. You will always remember Veni Creato Spiritus. Come Holy Spirit, come down. And for the melody of that, I stayed third. My rector, Father Second, born and bred in this country from Boston. And he very loudly called my name and called my name and we all had to say Atsu, we are present. Having said that, we take the step forward, never to look back. I have been done it for 50 years. And then the ordination ritual takes place. And ordination ritual is a very simple thing. The laying of the hands of the bishop on your head, that's all. And your priest. Then of course he says the prayers. And then follows the litany of saints and everything. And after that, I said my first Mass in a small convent where I would celebrate my Jubilee in Sri Lanka. And that's how I began my priesthood on that day. And from that day onwards, I have always tried to follow the dictates of the Gospel and that of the teachings of my own diocese and I learned my first assignment as a priest I had to work with all the harbour workers and here Father Bosco knows he has worked in that church and St. Anthony's Church in Kuchikande and from there I was transferred to another parish within Kalamu and there I worked for about 12 years and from there to the third and the fourth church. My bishop had the trust placed on me and he sent me to do higher studies to the University of London and there I studied something very funny nothing to do with the priesthood and you might be surprised to know I am a highly qualified air conditioning and refrigeration engineer <laughs> <laughs> but it was done with the view for the fishermen because of a diocese as for the Polka and Father Bosco would know most of them are fishermen and it was for them that I did work and I mastered that technology and we tried to help them in whatever way we could. Then from there I was given a chance for one year to study in Jerusalem and there too I followed the same type of thing to help and to foster our fishermen. Today of course our fishermen are highly advanced and they go into deep seas and they use multi-day boats today. All these I did to help the poor. And one, the other great surprise in my life which I have not spoken very much here, I had the great privilege of working with Mother Teresa. 
I had like Eddie and uh, Moscow. I had two mission fields. I was in one mission house and the other mission rectory was handed over to Mother Teresa and her community. There I really came to know her, the work that she was doing, from my rectory to the church, or the rectory where she stayed was less than a mile. So we meet on many an occasion to talk and there she worked almost for two years in that community while going to India and coming back. These are experiences that I always value given to me by God, my Father. Then after having served my diocese for about 35 years, I wrote a letter <coughs> with sincere thanks, may his soul rest in peace, is to our former bishop, Bishop John Nasri. <coughs> he accepted my letter and forth it came the reply and I remember it very clearly. It was the Christmas week and he said come immediately and that's how I am here because of that invitation. And ten years ago, I am sure Fitzpatrick and others would remember how he came here to celebrate my 40th jubilee and he was very, very happy to come and to celebrate and to be with us here in this our little church. My sincere thanks to him for all what he has done and for the trust that he has placed on me for the work that we were doing here in this diocese. So again, my sincere thanks to each and everyone who has been good to me. Last but not the least, a big thank to my parents, my relatives and my friends and to my own bishop here in uh, Sri Lanka. Now, of course, I have a bishop and he's a cardinal and I welcomed him when he came back from Rome as a priest and, well, today he's my archbishop and my cardinal. I'm happy God has been good to me and in which case I have to say Thank you, Lord, for having chosen me. Thank you so much for what you have done unto me. And thank you so much for the services that I could render because of you and because of the words that you have accepted me. And once again, may I say a big thank you to our both parishes here at Bosco and at Eggy. You people, you have been an excellent group of people with whom I could work and preach and teach and you have been very kind to me and you always shown your love and respect to me. Thank you. May God bless you. Amen.
let's place our petitions before God our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, that we may be a sign of God's loving presence in the midst of the everyday world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, our great high priest, will sustain in Father Danny a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which will ever increase in the course of his priestly life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit will fill Father Danny with his love, strength, and wisdom. Shepherd him as he shepherds others, and guide him as he guides others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all living and deceased members of Father Danny's family, especially Santiago Pinto and Dona Eugene Imelda, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all priests and those living a life of religious vocation, that their faith may be strengthened and renewed, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in our hearts that we now offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you for the graces that have been upon me, my family, and the parishes where I have worked. May the bishops who helped me and everyone in the ministry who were helpers to me, may they be blessed and protected, and may they receive the graces that you always bestow upon such people. May they be blessed. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to us. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all time. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gifts that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us what full in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without him we all acclaim.
glorious Son, Jesus Christ.
for your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults, prepare us for the coming peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May peace, love, and to serve them. 